Wherever you are, that's where I wanna be. All it took was a laugh and that soft sunset. Big blue eyes looked up inside. This is home. Just running around, you never look so cute. Hugging your tie, got the all I could take in. I am home. Home's wherever you're with me. It smells good. It smells good? Did Daddy do a good job making French toast? Yes, I did. Good morning, guys! It's Mr. Crazy Morning Hair here with the boys. Made some homemade French toast. Ooh, Finn likes it. You need syrup on yours, though? Yeah. Yeah. Ollie, let me know that I did forget <laughs> syrup. That's great. I think there's some syrup in here. Oh, yes, there is in our very messy pantry. Do not judge us. Sit on the French toast, silly boy. Don't sit on the French toes. I worked hard on that. You're such a prankster. What do you think? Uh, good. good? Yeah. Uh. Yay. Good morning, guys. I just had a delicious breakfast that Brian made for us while I was getting ready for church. And now that the boys are all fed, we gotta get you guys ready, and you guys need to clean your playroom. It is a disaster. We had a lot of kids over yesterday, though, so that tends to happen when kids come over. The playroom just becomes a pigsty. I am super excited today. I've been watching my Nez Cam and watching my baby chicks, and they're so cute. I haven't checked on them today. I've gotta admit, I'm a little nervous about the last chick. Number six, it's a silky, and last night I could still feel it like moving around in the egg and trying to peck, but no like breakage had happened. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. I know you're not supposed to help it, but then I've also read like in certain circumstances, if it's been a long time and they can't get out, they are going to die, so sometimes helping them will prevent them from dying. So I don't know, it's kind of a tough situation, but I haven't seen it today. So if there's some progress today, then I will keep my fingers crossed that it'll break through and crack and be fine. But if there's no progress, I'm gonna Admit, I'm gonna be a little more nervous then. I don't know what I'll do. So I'm excited to go check on them all. They are all running around their little mama and they haven't had any food or drink yet. So I'm excited to introduce them to like the, the food and the water and so fun. I like love this stuff. Hello my chickens. How are you all today? You guys been checking out the new chicks? Hi Pam, how's it going? How they doing? All right, I don't want to mess with it too much, but there is definitely a crack now, and there wasn't before. So maybe we will actually have another baby chick. Eee. All right, here's the silky. Oh my god. Oh, she's, she just peed everywhere. That is so gross. Here's the silky. She is so pretty. She's white with some black speckles. She does have a naked neck, which I believe she's not a full silky. She's called Silky Showgirl. I didn't know what that was until I looked it up after she was born, and apparently she's going to have a very bald neck. So that's kind of funny. All right, I just checked on all of them and they're all doing good, they're coming out. I moved their food and water a little closer, see if they'll maybe venture over to it a little bit more, but they're doing good. Look at the little black one, she was just eating, how cool. All right, we just got out of church. Hey dude, what is this? Um, that's an airplane. An airplane, or is it a little dove? It's, Did you make that in class? It's a dove in a boat in, in the airplane. That's so cool. They did a little arts and crafts in the little class that he was into. Come on, kiddos. It's so bright. He's like, I want to walk in the shade. <laughs> it is so bright, you guys. I can barely even see anything. <laughs> I gave my sunglasses to Missy because I'm <sighs> just a good husband. Yeah, we had a great morning at church. The boys both did really, really well. And now we're going to go check out our chicks and see how they're doing. This is the new Silky. I think she might be white or gray. What do you think? Yeah, she's, pretty... she's definitely, I think, a silky without the bald neck. Like yeah. This is a silky, not a showgirl. Show or a silky yeah. showgirl, yeah. This one's just a pure silky. I would, I had my doubts if she'd be born, but here she is. And she I was sitting in the incubator for you. I'm like, All I right, know. We're gonna have to I was this seriously one. like, I was watching her at church, and Pam was like, I'm done. I'm not sitting on it. So it hatched <laughs> without Pam sitting on it. Oh, that's so sad. But yeah, she's. That so is like, so cool, babe. That means all six of the eggs 
yep. that were alive hatched. Yep. Okay, we thought maybe one or two would make it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we have six more chickens now. Now we need oh, to grow Look at up. Pam is yeah. doing such a good job, and she all the little them babies how to eat. are just. Oh, she did. Yep, that's so I'm cool. Have to eat out of here and drink their water. And they got their own little separate and place. We've got fresh bedding for them. Girls, what do you think of your new roommates? Huh? They're yeah, they're a little more noisier. Not as noisy as that rooster we used to have, though. Glad to get rid of him, huh? <laughs> this is probably the weirdest one. Yeah. <laughs> it literally has a bald neck. That's crazy. She's, yeah, she's kind of weird. Pretty, but... Pretty, but weird. I mean, pretty. I can see your skin. <laughs> <laughs> that, this one's definitely a little weird. Look at that. Hey. Hey, birdie. <laughs> <laughs> but it made it. Yeah. So that's interesting. I think they're all gonna make it. We'll see how many are roosters though. I can't keep any roosters. Yeah. We were just saying that if we went with Disney princess names, this one could definitely be either Snow White or Elsa. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the idea. So we just gotta figure out who's who. And I really like for the gold, for the red ones, Ariel, Merida, and Anna. So we have to pick two mm. of the three Yeah. Redheads. Well, we could have an Elsa and an Anna. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty though. I know she's a little she's different. A little <laughs> I think a really sweet like bird. She's yeah. just yeah, she's I've looked at the showgirl like full grown and gotta admit, some are pretty scary looking. You Finn, you gotta be nice to the baby Gentle. chicks. <laughs> this is the new one, Ollie. What should we name this one? Elsa. Elsa. Elsa? She says, it looks like a You're snowman. You're being so nice and gentle with them, Ollie. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, but the baby chick, he said it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> yeah, it does that's kind of look like that, huh? That's just how this one is. This one it's just not... doesn't have any any uh, feathers on her neck. But she's she okay. Can... She's not broken. <laughs> He's like, one. this one's broken. <laughs> you want to give that one a kiss, though, real quick? They need some Ollie love. Man. If you guys want to see lots more baby chicken action, be sure you watch yesterday's vlog by clicking that i card in the corner of the screen. Lots of little babies being born yesterday, but today I think we're going to have a little bit fun and take advantage of this heat. All right, you guys, it's rocket science time. Jim and I had the great idea to turn these two liter bottles into rockets using science. All you want to see them fly super high in the air? Yeah, so what, what colors are these? Walk me through this. What color is this? Um, that orange. Orange, yeah, so it's supposed to be red, but it turned out orange. What color is this? Um, blue. Blue. And what color is this one? Um, green. Green. Wow. So we have our ammo, three big rockets. We got this cool little system I'm going to show you guys when we head outside. And I'm going to see them fly super high in the air. They're going to be super fast. <laughs> They're filled with rocket fuel. See the green? Yeah. The green, blue, and red is rocket fuel, so they go super fast. Are these ro yes. rockets in there? They're going to be rockets, yep. We're going to turn them into rockets using science. Okay? We're going to be conducting our own little experiment. Does that sound fun? Let's do this! All right, we have this awesome flat piece where we're going to be launching our bottle rocket. And of course, no science experiment is complete without some good old GoPro action. So I got my GoPro, and we're going to put it right next to the bottle to see what kind of footage we can get. So this is called the Aquapod launch area, and this is where we're going to have our bottle situated. This is our pull cord that when it's done getting pressurized, we pull it and it flies into the air. Does that sound pretty cool? Heck yeah, dude! Heck yeah, dude! Why are you so cool? <laughs> right there, and then that locks it on. Oh, I see, that's cool. Now we gotta flip it over. There we go, cool. Now what we are doing is hooking up a bicycle pump, just a standard bicycle pump, to the end of it, and we're gonna pressurize this baby. That was so cool, Ollie. Did you see it fly up super high? Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta be careful. It might fly to you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You think green will go higher? Probably. 
Yeah, we're gonna see if green can go a little bit higher. Ollie, come over here and pull the string, buddy. Ollie. Whoa! Ollie. Whoa! Finn, you did it? That's so cool, dude. <laughs> All right, Ollie, we have one more rocket left. What color is this? Blue. Blue. Hey, do you want to pull the string this time? Finn did it last time. It's going to hurt me. It won't hurt you, I promise, okay? Finn, you did such a good job, dude. All right, let's put the blue on, see what happens. You ready, Ollie? Yeah. Three, two, one. Look at we got rocket fuel everywhere now. It looks like the GoPro survived the launch, so that's good. All right, we are all out of rocket fuel, but we found a fuel pump, so we're, this'll do. We're gonna do uh, this kind instead. Finn is gonna pull this string that's going to launch this out. Three, two, one, pull! Oh, it didn't do it, Jim. Uh-oh, this might be an experiment gone wrong. What happened? No! Oh! <laughs> What happened, Jim? I don't know. Ben, get that bottle. <laughs> Retrieve it. You got it? Okay. Finn's a good little scientist. All right, Finn is pumping, filling that thing with pressure. You ready, Ollie? Three, two, one, pull. pull. Oh, pull. More. Whoa. What's going on? No. We had three successful launches and two failed launches. So far our odds are not very good. First round of launching was very successful. We have one more bottle and then I think we're out of rocket fuel, so this is it. All right, we got the cord. Finn, you're on pump duty, okay? All right, he's pumping it, Ollie, you ready? Are you excited? Yeah. We gotta make this one a success, okay? Three, two, oh. one, pull! Oh! Oh no! Uh oh, uh oh. Three for three. We broke it? Not working anymore. <laughs> All right, well we had three successful launches. That was pretty fun, huh dude? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys wanna watch us do another fun experiment with dry ice, I will have that video linked in the iCard in the corner so you can go check that out. That was super cool though, huh? Yeah, we're like little rocket scientists today. All right, we're running some tests because you know, we're really, really good scientists, obviously. We have some Pam olive oil. We just sprayed the nozzle, hoping it's gonna be a little slippery. We're thinking you can't reuse the bottles because the pressure warps the inside, but we'll see. All right, pumping, pumping, pumping. Pull it. Pull it. Ah. It worked. Just needed a little bit, a little grease. All right, we had to break out the safety goggles. It was getting too close. <laughs> Finn, you got your safety goggles on too? Yeah, you're not wearing those right, but that's okay. All right, pumping it up again. Finn's gonna pull the string. Woo! <laughs> got home, we had a fun day with the fam. Finn is running around, he's actually getting ready for bed. <laughs> Finn, it is past your bedtime. I had such a fun day, I am so excited about my chicks still. In fact, at dinner tonight, we all sat down and they are officially named. I'm pretty sure it's official. It's only been official for like a few hours, so I guess anything could change. A lot of suggestions we did get from you guys in the comments because so many, so many people left 
like comments and suggestions on names and there were some really really good ones I'm really really excited to announce it I think I'm thinking about making like a separate video on my channel to do it just because I feel like it's sort of my thing and I feel like it needs like a dedicated video so I can explain like all their names and why they're named that and I'm pretty excited about it so let me know if you guys want something like that to kind of get detail on their names but I'm excited about it it is time for this one to go to bed. I don't know what he's doing, but I better stop him before it's time. Before, it's before, before he gets hurt. <laughs> he's been saying so many words, you guys. It's crazy. He's learning so many words ah. now. Ah. <laughs> you want to say bye, boop? Ah. He always just points to his chest. All right, give the video a big thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Kee. Boop. Yeah. Good job. Mm. Can you say bye, boop? Mm. Aww, bah!